And think about something else. When Jesus was falsely accused, when he was beaten, when he was flogged, when he was spit upon and sentenced to die, I mean, I would say that's a pretty negative situation to be in, getting ready to go to Calvary. And what did Jesus Christ do? He used that negative situation as an opportunity to do what? Glorify God the Father. And he is our example. He died for our sin, and maybe you're thinking because you're in this situation that God has abandoned you, and those thoughts keep coming through your mind today. That is just not true. Possibly, God, Christ, is setting the stage, setting the opportunity for you to glorify his name in that trial that you are facing. And when people see you empowered, when people see the negative, but then the positive is added on through the word of God, through the principles of the word, and they see you, and they understand that something's happening in you. You're ignited by the Spirit of God. You're trusting God. There's a supernatural joy about you. And people are going to look at you in that negative situation and say, how are they doing that? How, how do they walk like that? How do they keep their senses? How do they keep their calm? How are they not going crazy? I know what they're walking through. How can they not be taking so many uh, uh, pills to just numb the pain? If I was walking through that situation, I'll tell you what, I'd get a gun and blow my head off. I don't know what, how they're living. It's because of what's in them. It's, it's, it's because of of, of principles of the word that they're seeing. And, and, and this, is what's, this is what's happening with Paul. This is what can be happening with me or with you. Listen, our life will change someone else's life when we allow the Spirit of God to take a trial or a negative situation and turn it into a positive testimony. 